Good evening, my name is Bruce Montgomery and thank you for joining me on another edition of Technology Access Television. Well, you know, as things change, businesses have to change with the times and the way, you know, everybody kind of goes back to school one way or another, you know, either you fake it till you make it, but better off, you need to get in a class somewhere and learn the skills of uh, the new skills that you have to learn as technology changes and the business landscapes change. And there are some resources available in Chicago for folks that want to take advantage of certain uh, activities in education that relate to business development and working to br bring their products and services to their community. My guest today is involved with a very, very, very special program. And in fact, we just talked today and I thought it was so exciting that I wanted to get him on the show to pass the word along so you might be someone who could take advantage of this entrepreneurial training, training that's available in your community to make a difference in how your business can scale and advance and grow using new techniques and new tools that might help you in a range of areas. My guest today is Uris Bates from E and Z Sales and Marketing. Uris, thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me today. Now we just happened to, uh, I happened to get a posting on my Facebook page from a good friend of mine, Mark Allen, right. telling me about a special program that's mm -hmm. available for businesses where they, if they qualify, can get involved with some training. Tell us a little bit about this program. Well, the name of the program is Easy Training. and. And we have some uh, top quality trainers coming in to, to the uh, community to train different companies as far as uh, from anywhere from computer training to leadership training to even just, just the basis as far as taking your business to the next level and at the same time making a profit. So we're looking to really start this program as soon as possible. It's a grant ran program where it's free of charge to your company if you qualify. Now, where can people, if they if they want to find out if they can qualify, and a lot of the qualification mm -hmm. really is just based on where the business is located. Is it, that correct? Exactly. That to be in a, a certain zone within the community, and with them sending in the information as far as exactly the location of the company, I would definitely let them know exactly do they qualify from there because it's it's basic. If you're in this zone. Okay. And once you're in the zone, all it is, you have to have a business license and don't owe the city of Chicago any money. So if you have it. a business license uh, with that business name and that address and right. that zip code, and like you say, you're not having some particular situation with the city, then you can qualify. And this is, uh, you sent me a list of, mm -hmm. of, of where these, is, and it's really all over the city. It's just about all over the city, but basically it's sort of strange that a lot of companies on the south and west side of Chicago don't take advantage of these opportunities. People on the north side, they take advantage of it, but for some reason, companies uh, not taking advantage of this opportunity. So what? that's exactly why right. I wanted you on today right. so that the word could get out. Now, mm -hmm. this is a situation where you sit down and once you uh, talk to a business, find out where the business is located, <laughs> They might be a retail business, they might be in construction, mm -hmm. they might be in a professional service, maybe right. sales or marketing. Doesn't make a difference. Doesn't make if a difference. If they have any kind of uh, legitimate business activity in the city of Chicago, mm -hmm. they can take advantage of, and the training can really be, what, suited to their needs? Suited to their needs, but basically what we do is send out a, a survey. But the first phase of training, we try to focus on uh, computer training, which will probably be about two classes a month. Uh, for about six months and like I say we have some top-notch people coming in uh, handling the training so it's not someone off the street thinking they know everything about from Microsoft's Word to presentations. Our bottom line is to try to make sure that you make your profits you know go up and not go down. So it's really business oriented not classroom oriented. No. So it's not wasting business owners time because you know one of the things that people are most concerned about is businesses out here to service their customers to, to get better at what they're doing, to make a profit, to play their employees. B business owners don't have a lot of time to no. be away from the shop. 
or to be somewhere sitting in a class, right. somebody who's back minding the store? That's you know, right. Who's back making sure everything's mm -hmm. going on? So a lot of these things that would mean some of these would be uh, at convenient hours, like in the evenings and weekends, where right. people could come attend some of this activity uh, after hours. Yeah, so basically that's why we set out a survey asking, first of all, what are some of the classes or what needs that your employees may have, and mm -hmm. then after even hours, would you prefer uh, training from 8 or 10 o'clock in the morning, or do you prefer weekends? So it all depends upon the survey. We even try to have the classes centered around close to the companies where they are actually located as well. Okay. Right. So how can people find out uh, how to qualify? Can they contact you and either call uh, on the phone and you could have a, a, a survey sent out to them? What number should they call if they want to get information about this program? I can be reached at 773-285-9151. 773-285-9151. We'll repeat that number throughout this show because this is a special program. And like you have said, uh, it's available to people in Chicago. If you have a business, if you have a business license, if you don't have some challenge with the city, you should take advantage of it. Now, have you been able to work with uh, some of the uh, aldermen in different areas to, so that they could help get the word out through their constituents in different communities? Well, I reached out to a few aldermen and I just wanted to let them know that it, I was giving them the respect to let them know I'm in a uh, actually wars trying to get companies signed up. But uh, I know I have a meeting set up coming up with the uh, representative David da uh, Danny Davis office and, and try to as far oh, as okay. assist me as far as letting them know what's going on. And because, you know, this is a, a program that I think is really valuable to the community as far as how times are, you know, this type of training would cost anywhere from a thousand, two thousand dollars or above when companies are, uh, you know, strict dire need as far as funds. Well, this is actually funds available to you and it's free. All you have to do is just send me your information or either email me or send it whatever and just make sure you qualify and that's it. You're in the program. Well, that's pretty exciting. Now, many companies, one of the biggest challenges they have is mm -hmm. when they uh, are, are attempting to hire a new staff right. and they're bringing people on either part time or full time. Are they able to uh, create a certain training curriculum for new hires and anyone? So it doesn't have to necessarily be the business owner mm -hmm. who goes through the training. He may want an administrative assistant, a salesperson, a customer service person to go through some of these skill sets. And so uh, different employees in the organization can avail themselves of this training. Is there a limit on the number of people from a company who can take advantage of this training? There's not a limit. Uh, it's one good thing about this because, you know, who benefits from this program? One, you know, the, the owner benefits because then at the same time, they're bet, uh, bettering their employees. And then they may not, have may say for instance, it may take a person two or three hours to try to do a spreadsheet. By the time they finish our training program, it may take them 20 or 30 minutes. And at that time, that employee can spend more time doing another function mm -hmm. within the company. And right there, the profits go up because this guy has more knowledge. And say for instance, not say he's gonna lead that company, but at the same time, he could take those knowledge and skills somewhere else, even if he's taking it to his church or something of that nature. So. so some of the key areas that will be delivered in this customized training under this grant program will include some of the business fundamentals. Um, you, you mentioned Microsoft Office, uh, Word, Excel, uh, PowerPoint, right. uh, maybe even QuickBooks, something for accounting and finance. Right. Uh, those are the kinds of programs yeah. that people will actually get hands-on experience using these tools that could help their business uh, moving forward. Right, because usually once the person find out that they qualify for the program, my trainers will actually call out to that company and see exactly the level of computer, uh, uh, how much they know about computers uh, programs. And then from there, the trainer will determine exactly what level, what skills that the trainers would take the, the people in the classes to as far as what they need to do with them. So now, it's like we don't want to waste their time. Right, 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 right. So you work from where they are, right. if they're beginner, intermediate, advanced, and they want to move up whatever that range is, right. they don't just get some cookie cutter class, they get something that's really going to help them at the level of skill and capacity that they have. Right, exactly. Now, now one of the issues that so many small businesses are facing these days is, uh, the customers are expecting companies to have information online. 
Mm -hmm. You know, like you mentioned, you know, people want to go to the website. They want to see information about your product and service, your track record, your uh, customer service policies, mm -hmm. your hours of operation. Maybe people could even conveniently order online so that exactly. they could order and then come out and pick it up or have it shipped to them. Uh, so, so this whole area of getting acclimated to e-commerce and online business and that kind of activity, having a website, having a Facebook business page, uh, using social media effectively, right. are these some classes that you think uh, there's a demand for as you started to do some of the early surveys in the community? Well, yes, definitely, because that's one of the main things goes is social media. How, you know, I've been in advertising for over 20 years and how the business is changing, you mm. know, Facebook uh, and uh, social media. Now people carry their phones around where, you know, actually you can sometimes if you drop, walk by a certain store, you uh, that uh, coupon will pop up. So, That's right. so social media is the place where you need to be at right now. They're, they're, these classes that we're offering will actually take you there and show you exactly how to take your business to another level. Well, you really touched on something that's mm. uh, as hot as a firecracker because when you talk about mobile, right. uh, many of us can tell just from you know walking around in the community or anywhere you know, and even in our own homes, right. you know, you have uh, you know, I didn't have a phone when I was a teenager. <laughs> no. I didn't have a phone when I was in college, for <laughs> right. that matter. Right. But but now young people have smartphones. These smartphones are cameras. They're videos. They have Wi-Fi capability. Uh, they can bring up Facebook. They can take pictures. They have Instagram. All these different apps. Right. And so these things have spread throughout the entire community. Right. That creates a business opportunity for a company. Exactly. You know, so if you have, uh, you know, just like people used to have uh, a big mailing list and they would mail out uh, flyers and different things. Well, now you have tools like Constant Contact. You have Facebook. You have other kinds of tools where you can keep your audience informed mm -hmm. about your product and service and they may carry that around and walk in the door because, hey, they got a tweet, they got an update, they got a text message, and you're talking about a special product or service they're interested in. That can drive business right to your doorstep. Yes, it's a known fact that uh, even uh, mobile advertising is more effective than, I hate to say this, television and radio because it's more of an impulse. And you actually have, now people don't have really desktops most people is what's most inexpensive they actually have a smartphone because all the smartphone is it's a computer you're walking around with so right there you have an instant e-blast is a coupon in where you know right there in the impulse where the person see you day in the store and they say oh i got a coupon i get a chance to get two or three dollars off of a certain product you have that that, that component right in your hands where you can actually go and use it right then and there. That's why some of these classes will show you to take advantage of social media, whether it's retail, whether it's manufacturer, whatever, this will show you exactly to take your company to another level. So how did you come to uh, get involved with this very uh, program? Because this is really uh, an excellent program mm. and uh, to make it available you know all of us here you know we get email we hear about classes mm. and workshops and we look up in the class is two hundred dollars three hundred dollars five hundred dollars fifteen hundred dollars right and you're saying well I'd love to take that class but you know that's a lot of money and right. I don't really know what the quality is mm -hmm. here you have another approach where you're interviewing the businesses finding out what their needs are right. and then coming back to them with an expert and then better yet you don't have to pay anything. It's free. It's free. <laughs> it's free. All we ask is that, you know, we come back. They have to, like, show. It's like a little survey showing that, you know, you may start off and your, your uh, profits raised by 1% or 2%, but it shows that the class actually helped you. That's the bottom line. So what, 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 what the funders, what the grant is looking for mm -hmm. is to make an investment on behalf of the company improving their productivity so that they could either – uh, upgrade their workers right. or retain their workers or, or, or more drop down to the bottom line, which will allow the business to be sustainable and stay in business in the first place. Right. So if everyone happy, the, uh, you know, the, even the city around the city of Chicago said, well, uh, employment may raise because now you can able employ more people because you have a bigger profit, a larger profit to uh, employ more people. So there's a win-win for everyone here. Well, you're exactly right. I mean, you know, if a person is only doing business, uh, let's say at a retail location and they have regular retail hours, but let's say they add a, a way where people can order online. Well, that's a new source of revenue. Exactly. You know, that's some revenue they weren't getting. Now, 
uh, they may be making money 24-7 mm -hmm. because they have, a, you know, and it, it start out only 5% of their business or maybe 10%, right. mm -hmm. but over the over continually to work with it and adding products, that's something that could grow into a significant portion of their business and may even go national and even international. I was about to say that by being mobile, it's more of a national, international, you're not local anymore. That's putting you on a more higher, a broader scale because now you're on the internet and that takes you to another level. So let's give out that number again where people can call mm -hmm. and find out about the program, talk mm -hmm. to you, have the survey, get some consulting and see if this kind of training can meet their needs. Right. What's that number again? The number is 773-285-9151, 773-285-9151. Or they can email me too as well at E as in Edward, Z as in Zebra, S-A-L-E-S, -E the number one at Comcast.net. Okay, EZ Sales number one right. at Comcast.net. Right. And they can send you an email and you can reply to them just like you did with me. Exactly. You <laughs> sent me an email and you sent me the complete package of information showing me everything that was going on with the program. Exactly. It's okay. simple. It's simple. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm so delighted that, right. uh, that you could take the time to come on the show and mm -hmm. really explain this. But I, I have heard uh, about these programs. I mm -hmm. think I know some people, uh, you know, in government that's involved with this. But it just didn't seem like the word was getting out. It, it didn't not. seem like, uh, like you said, businesses uh, in the urban areas on the south and the west side, many of them have not even heard about this program or nobody's ever surveyed right. them on how to get involved. So is there some more push by the city to incorporate, you know, marketing strategists like you and help advance, get the word out a little bit better? Well, by me being by trade and advertising and I saw the opportunity, I said, well, maybe if I can market this and, you know, focus on a certain segment mm -hmm. that it can get the word out then it'll spread because, like I said, the opportunity is here and it's, it's so simple to take advantage of it. You know, actually the classes are free. All you have to do is have a business license and uh, don't owe the city of Chicago any money and you fall in a certain zone, and that's it. You got to train it. So three easy steps to qualify. Now let's talk about the the the, the instructors because mm -hmm. you know the, that's where the rubber really meets the road. Right. Is the is the is the savviness and the skill set of the instructors. You know, mm -hmm. I, I do some uh, training in business through mm -hmm. the Small Business Administration and through SCORE. Right. Uh, I'm a SCORE counselor and mm -hmm. I teach the marketing course mm -hmm. with the SBA every month uh, downtown right. at the SBA offices in uh, the City Corp building. Where do you find your instructors from? Where where do the skills come from for people to really get out and talk shop with business owners that are really business related uh, types of courses? Well, I want to make sure that the people that I have come through my training program are the best of people. So right now I use Fred Price seminar seminars that handle all of my training. They're known for training across the country. That's right. And they have, you know, we waiting and are willing to take people on and and uh, start the training. We hopefully start the training in the next two weeks or so because um, people are ready to get started and we have a few more slides open. So you're using existing, like Fred Pyre, they have a they have a trainers all over the country. All over the country. And a, a good friend of mine, uh, Dushan Mosley, mm -hmm. uh, is a trainer with them. He, he, he's one of the top project management trainers in the country and even goes outside the country right. doing project management training for Fred Pryor and many other companies. Mm -hmm. So these are the kinds of people that have been delivering business oriented training for years. Right. And now because of this grant program, you're able to hire those types of very skilled trainers. And these are guys that go to top corporations right. and medium sized companies and put on site training on a uh, year in and year right. out. So that's why I say I'm, I'm bringing a top level quality type of trainers so that these small companies can actually, you know, better themselves, and you know, it's not just someone walking off the street saying I can train you in computer training. These are certified, people have to be certified by Fred Pryor. And like I say, they, these are very well skilled individuals doing mm -hmm. the training for me. So now some people might sit here and look at this show and say, mm -hmm. okay, this guy, he's telling me mm -hmm. it's free and it sounds real good. Mm -hmm. There's gotta be a catch. It, it must be something up with mm -hmm. this, that this, this must be, is there, is there a limit? Is there a cutoff? Is this something that, uh, like you say, the training's gonna start in two weeks, but it's, as people start to find out about this and if more people sign up, is there gonna be a limit on how many people can be involved with this or well, how is this gonna work out? Well, I feel that the more people that I bring to the program and they see that people are, are really trying to get into the program, be a part of it, I believe that I can, you know, increase, not saying that it happened, but 
there's shows there's interest and I think that somehow funding would be even available for more people. Okay, so it's kind of like instead of the usual supply and demand, mm -hmm. it's the demand right. and then the supply. That's so right. if, you, if you can help show that there's demand out there mm -hmm. by entrepreneurs in the community to avail themselves of cutting edge uh, services, social media marketing, e-commerce, uh, uh, back office automation, these mm -hmm. types of tools that are the difference because you can't be in business today mm -hmm. and think that you're going to do business the way they did it even right. five or ten years ago. Exactly. You've got to come up to the current standards of having your back office straight, your front office straight, your website up and running, mm -hmm. and then you have to be able to deal with your financial institution, your bank. Right. Uh, a lot of the activities in banking now is online. Right. A lot of activities with your suppliers might be online. So where you get your products and services from from, that may be a wholesale e-commerce relationship so that you get just-in-time delivery that allow you to be right. maximize your profit. So these are the kind of skills you're going to be offering. So I don't want anybody to say yes. that they watched this show and they didn't know. So how can they get in touch with you again to find out about this program to get training for in technology for their business? So I'm saying, please call me. I'm mean, it's, <laughs> it's easy. I mean, I'm saying it's like it's, it's there. It's waiting for you. Just call me at 773 Two eight five nine one five one. Just email me at easysales1 at comcast.net or you can look at the website easysalesandmarketing.com and just look at the website and even talk a little bit about the program on the website. Okay, so, well, uh, let, let's hear a little bit about the mm -hmm. Uris Bates story because uh, you've got a story yourself. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you're a professional, mm -hmm. you've been in sales and marketing. Uh, to talk a little bit about your experience as a business professional. Uh, how did you, you say you've had your business now for how many years? 21 years. 21 years. By the grace. <laughs> you must have started right out of high school. Or something. Uh, Everybody is coming here starting right out of high school, man. No, I'm older than what you think. <laughs> <laughs> but, but actually, how I started off was actually my wife, Zeline Kelly Bates. Zeline Kelly at the time. Okay. She was working at Burrell Advertising. I used to go up there and see, see her. You All know, right. she had a certain accounts up there. And I said, well, it's like, it's easy. It's all they're doing is people making relationships and, and then all of a sudden making money. So I saw just before I got married, I'm crazy. I quit my job <laughs> and started my own company. And from today, you know, I've been in business where we uh, upscale magazine on the phone with Tyrone and Clarence update. They even done some TV production on myself and Mandela Man of Vision. And, wow. And uh, we even got the, the Academy Awards show that we have on as far as the African-American side. So. We, you know, I've done a lot, you know, right now we're in the process of getting Mandela Man of Vision coming to trying to on a network coming out in July. So, so you've always been involved in advertising and sales and marketing, really on the end of selling and generating revenue. That's been your business. And production, because I did video, uh, uh, vignette production for Radio One and people like that as well. I might have to, I might, I might have, I might have some work for you around here. I think I've got something for this guy to do. I'm ready yeah. to blow up and yeah, get so me, I'm ready to get me a rep that can bring in some. Yeah, because we even did money. some work with Herb Kent. We had cool jams for Herb <laughs> Kent and we syndicated. So we've been around and thank God for that. Well, around. thank God for somebody like a Eurus Bates who, yeah. after 21 plus years of being in business, mm. is still thinking about how to bring other people into this arena of successful entrepreneurship, and he's doing it with a free grant based program program that'll pick up the tab for state-of-the-art training for your business and even to top that he called me I saw what he was mm -hmm. doing I told him to come down to the studio and the very day that I talked to him he came down here to share this information with you now you really have to get up off of something and make this phone call and 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 get involved with this program if you want to know more all you got to do is go to the website go to the phone you can call us you I, I want you to take advantage of this program because it's funded, it's free, it's no dime out of your pocket, and it can put you on the next level of success with what you're trying to do. I want to thank yours, Bates, for being mm -hmm. on the show. I want to thank you for supporting us going now into our 14th year here at Technology Access Television. My name is Bruce Montgomery. We'll see you next time. Body and soul.